Test driving a new or used car is something nearly everyone does, but most drivers don't really know what to do on that often too short trip around the block. We can help you get the most out of that all-important first drive. Let's start with the steps you should take before you grab the wheel. Whether it's new or used, remember to carefully inspect the entire vehicle for signs of damage or previous repairs, including the glass. Look for cracks and chips. If you find anything suspicious, don't hesitate to ask the salesperson. It's also a good idea to have a look at the tire date codes. And don't forget to check the spare, too. All tires manufactured after 2000 have a date code, and this will let you know if that new set of tires is really new. Have a look underneath the car, too, for evidence of fluid leaks. Whether it's engine oil, transmission fluid, brake fluid, or coolant, fluid leaks of all kinds are never a good sign. Once you're seated, inspect all of the car's electronic features, like the navigation system, its Bluetooth functions, the radio, and cruise control. And while you're at it, Start up the engine and make sure the dashboard warning lights illuminate, then extinguish soon after. If a warning light has been disabled, it won't illuminate. While you're doing all of this, don't feel rushed. Just remember these are essential steps to take in order to make an informed decision. Okay. Now that you're done with your pre-flight check of the car you selected, is a quick drive around the block enough? No, it's not. You'll find that most car dealers will let you take the car out for a test spin all alone. And here's a tip that you might find valuable. You can ask to take the car home with you overnight. It's a more common request than you might think, so don't be afraid to ask. Now's a good time to mention that check engine lights can be reset temporarily. So make sure you drive the car a good distance to see if this or any other warning lights return. Look up the warning light reset times before your test drive, because they vary between makes and models. The best approach for a test drive is to try and match the environment you normally encounter day to day, such as your actual commute. Wherever you decide to go, pay attention to how the car sounds and feels. Is it noisy inside? Do the brakes feel right for you? Is the steering responsive? Be mindful of the overall driving experience. If you typically drive in an urban environment, it's a good idea to parallel park the car on the street. Remember, you're trying to follow your daily routine. Check the turning radius of the car, too. While you do this, listen for any unusual thumping or clicking noises, which can indicate there's a problem. Now that your test drive is over, what's your next move? Well, let me start by telling you what not to do. Do not purchase the car on the same visit as your test drive. You might be excited, but there's no need to rush. Instead, take some time to consider all of your options. Test drive more candidates at other dealerships. This is a big financial decision and the options are aplenty. If you arrive at the dealer's lot well informed, you're already ahead of the game. Just remember, never allow anyone to pressure you into a quick sale. Take your time experiencing the car and in the end, you'll be happy with your purchase.